Hey guys, it's Harley Wood. I haven't carried my Glock 43 much lately. I've been switching back and forth between the 19 and the Glock 30, but I did carry it for quite a while. And when I did, I was using this Annex appendix rig from Tug Tight. And for me, it took a little bit, but I got used to it. It's fairly comfortable. For somebody who's trying to get into appendix carry though, stuffing all of this up front may not be comfortable for uh, many people, especially if you've been used to, you know, kind of just a strong side carry or something like that. So about a month ago, I bought this guy. This is from Vale Solutions. Um, I did buy this, it was not sent to me or anything, but carrying this versus carrying this is much easier for some people. And now this gun is unloaded, magazine is empty. Um, my Glock 43, if you haven't seen it, I've done a whole build series on it, I'll post a link in the description below. But look at this guy. You can get it with loops, like the, the leather loops or these hard plastic clips. And you can get it with or without this Raven Concealment Claw. Now, I like the Raven Concealment Claw. I'll roll in a little bit of footage right here where you can see how it kind of tucks and the belt pulls in on this and actually uh, pushes the butt of the gun deeper into your stomach. So it makes it a little easier to conceal. Now, one thing I will say about this is I am not comfortable uh, reholstering with something like this. It doesn't provide you kind of that full open support platform so that you feel comfortable with the trigger going down inside of, of the holster, if it's still holstered in your waistband. So I'm gonna roll in some footage right here. You'll see I did a bunch of drawing with this and I had no discomfort drawing at all. Um, I was worried that the sights, especially the front sight post, was maybe gonna catch my, my stomach on the way out. It never did a single time. I had no problems with that. But every single time I wanted to reholster this, I took the holster out, reattached the gun into the holster, and then resecured the holster back in my belt line. Now this thing holsters up really easily, and in terms of putting it down into your belt, it literally takes I don't know, a second, maybe a second and a half total. And if you're, uh, you know, getting out of your vehicle and you're going to secure it and put your put your gun in your waistband, a lot of times you don't want to sit there and have to fumble, fumble with one of these big appendix rigs. And this makes it a lot more easier to do that. These start at about the $35 mark, and depending on what sort of hardware you get on it, it goes up from there, depending on what kind of Kydex. They have dozens of different options. With the Raven Concealment Claw and the 1.5 inch hard loop here, I wanna say I spent $45, somewhere around there. They also offer a hard loop, a plastic loop, that goes up to 1.75 inch, fits those you know, one thicker belts. And uh, then they have combos where you can get the soft loop and the hard loop and you know everything, everything included. So um, I'll post a link in the description below where you can check this out. Much, much more comfortable if you're trying to get into appendix carry and you don't want all that gear up front. Now with something like the Glock 43, you're losing a little bit of capacity by not having that magazine caddy with it. So, you know, carry your extra magazine somewhere else on your body. But link in the description below. This is the Ghost from Vail Solutions. Thanks for watching, guys. If you like this video, please hit that subscribe button below. We've got lots more videos to come, and we'll see you in the next one.